Goku would never show a fight. A lot of people after episode 33 are talking about Goku showing the fight now. I just want to break down why this would never happen. And why you really need to either stop talking about the theories and trying to debate it with hardcore fans. Or actually do your homework. Yeah, go do your homework. Now what I mean by do your homework is. Instead of just going around and being like. In the Dragon Ball Z for 90s Funimation dub, Goku was such a, Goku was like always like quitting fights and doing all this shit so he could protect people, but he wants to help people and he cares that but I'm like, dude, Goku was Americanized. When Dragon Ball was brought over to America, they're like, Funimation was like, okay, this guy's a da- this guy's a jackass, he's a douchebag. We can't have that. Let's make him not a douchebag by making him into fucking Superman. Which is not what Goku is. In the Japanese version of Dragon Ball, Goku's a very different character. I'm not going to go into it because that's your job. Go watch the series in Japanese. But the point is, is that all this speculation people have is useless because Goku wouldn't throw a fight. In the Japanese version, it is made very clear that Goku does not care about anything in the world more than fighting. In the Japanese version, Goku loves fighting more than anything. You know that speech he gives against Frieza in the uh, 90s Funimation dub? That is not in I think in the Japanese version, I don't know the speech offhand, but he's like, I'm going to beat you, I'm Son Goku but Super Saiyan. That's true, he's like, I'm a Super Saiyan, I'm going to beat you. That whole I'm the hope of the new world. He's like, he never said that in the Japanese version. He was just like, I'm going to beat you. And even in the English version, he's like, I want to fight people at their best. In the Japanese version, you know what he pretty much said? I'm going to paraphrase here, but I want to fight. I want to see how strong he is. And I want to see, you know, if that can challenge me. So he's pretty much saying that he doesn't want to fight people at their best because he doesn't like fighting people when they're weak. He just wants to fight people at their best, because when you fight somebody at your best, guess what, buddy? That person is going to give you a good fight. That's the whole point. That's all Goku cares about, is a good fight. Now, some people use the argument that Goku doesn't like fighting weak people. But my argument to this is that but Goku cares about fighting more than anything else in the world, right? So why would he quit the mask when, if he throws the fight, he, po- he could possibly lose the opportunity to fight Kabe, Monat, not Ka- Kabe, Hit, Magetta, all these other very, po- possibly very strong people. And I don't see why Goku would throw that fight. It doesn't make any sense. He especially if you read the manga. If, and people complain about how we talk in Super. I think people complain about that. Like in the dub, I'm like, yes, go watch it in Japanese. Goku speaks in a very country, uneducated voice, where he's like, I ain't got time for this shit, I'm gonna beat your ass. Like, you know, he's not well educated, and you know, like, in the dub, for some reason, this boy that had been in the woods for his entire life, learned everything, everything he knows from his grandfather, can speak perfect English, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why? He had no form, he had no proper education. How can he speak proper English? I don't fucking know. And like Gohan has a degree in teaching people English or in the original case, Japanese. But either way, Goku could speak it fluently in the English version. But in the manga and Japanese version, he would say he would use very slang, use a lot of slang and stuff. Now, the real reason I'm making this video is it bothers me that this community, the Dragon Ball community, doesn't care about how they represent themselves. See, I, I'm in a comment section you know, in somebody else's video, and I get, and I sort of tell them, like, no, judging by the character, the way the character of Goku portrayed in the original manga and Japanese version, Goku would not show the fight, I get called fucking retarded? It doesn't make any sense. And look, it, it, it amazed me, and I told the guy, go do your homework, right? I was like, I'm not gonna tell you what video or where it is, but I'm pretty much telling the guy, go do your homework, watch the series in fucking Japanese. Know what you're talking about, and, and, and even if you don't, if, if, you, if, you need to, if you don't want to watch it in Japanese, at least reference the Japanese version. If you need to talk about a scene in a, in a debate, go watch the scene in Japanese, BAM! 
You got Benali. And you know what I'll tell you right now? Gohan going Super Saiyan 2? Better in Japanese. And you want to know something? People complain that I say Saiyan and not Saiyan. Some people have told me it's a problem. Go, well, screw you at the proper way to say it. I uh, keep them what I want you to video on. You can go watch it. He did a video on why Saiyan is the proper pronunciation. But, I'll give you a quick summary here. I'll link Geek Thumb video to Mr. Christian if I can find it, because it's really old. But, what pretty much happens is, is the Japanese word, Yasai, is the second part of Saiyan, or Saiyan. So it is S-A-I, then it is Yasai. Yasai meaning the Japanese word for vegetables, going off of the whole Japanese theme and Toriyama pun of them all being named off of this different vegetable, like Goku, Jap Saiyan name in Japanese, and Kakarato, and Flaming Vegito. I love how dumb fans aren't bothered by that. That, the name fused into Vegito makes no damn sense. Because, how does Kakarot, Kakarot and Vegeta, would make Vegerot, which is what Viz Media used, which is correct, that would be the name of the fusion. If Goku's Saiyan name, well, Kakarot, which it isn't. And Kakarot Toe, so it is GG, and then Toe from Kakarot Toe. That's just another mistake the dub of the, of the translations have made. And I'm telling you, the Japanese manga is the best. The manga and the Japanese version is better, in my opinion. It really is. It's more accurate, it's more accurate to the characters, it portrays them better. And you actually do your research. I have a link in the comments. Support content you. Go on there. Read your translation guide. Learn about the characters more. Learn about Toriyama. These people that say Goku through a fight don't know what they're talking about. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why would Goku through a fucking fight? Give me a legitimate reason. Why? Based off of, and you cannot mention anything dumb. You have to mention only things from the manga and the Japanese version. You can only use that as a reference. Give me a reason Goku would throw a fight from that. Give me, no, five reasons. Bet you can't do it, huh? Because it's impossible. Alright? The Dragon Ball Z dub is inaccurate, and it's leading people to believe things are not true. Now, if you want to say something, that's fine. I was in a live stream last night with Tekken 101. I wasn't in it, but I was in the comments. But what I need you guys to understand is that in those comments, people were stating things. Alright, Nick was Friday night, before Super came out, people were saying Goku was poison, Goku through the fight. They weren't saying I think, or in my opinion, or do you think, no. They're just stating things. I'm sick of this freaking community. Thinking, they can just state things. Nothing you say is fact. Especially when you're basing it off of an inaccurate dub. I don't, and I'm going to declare right now, I don't hate the dub. I'm bashing it here. What do you know why? I'm being critical. Just like I gave my honor. I love One Piece. One Piece like 8 7, 807, I believe. I gave that chapter a legitimate ranking. I gave it like a 6 out of 10. I did not like it. Yeah, it was 807. Go watch my review for that. It's easy to find. It has a shitty thumbnail. We had a copyright strike at the time. It's just Sanji standing there. But. Oh my god. Give me, give me a minute. Oh. Okay, so what I really, what I w want to talk about now, before I end this video, is just, don't say things like in fact, especially you're referencing the dub. I like the dub. I grew up with the dub. You can act anime at four. We both did. But you know what? I'm not going to be a fucking retard and reference the dub. If you want to reference the dub like a joke or something, I'm fine. But I'm in an actual debate. And I'm trying to sound like an intelligent human being. I'm not going to sit down... And be like, hey, here's a good idea. Let's reference the inaccurate dub. That's like retarded. That would be like if you sat down with no knowledge of American history and tried to debate why Donald Trump didn't be president. You had no knowledge of anything that happened in the world. Now say an alien. It would be like an alien coming to Earth and debating why Trump didn't be fucking president. Did that make any sense? Of course not. He knows nothing about the way we live. Doesn't have our culture. Or he never he doesn't even know anybody. He just randomly could walk into a store, sit down, and him and a guy start debating. No knowledge of the planet. It's the same thing. You are talking about things you don't understand. Okay, if you are a casual fan, you like the dub, that is fine. 
It's fine. But I d it mind blows me that people that are casual fans talk like they know something. I I recently said it on a comment that an 18 could destroy most of the Z fighters in a fight easily. And I'm smart enough to know what a Z fighter is. Where I never stated a point in time, I said she could destroy a lot of people that were Z fighters. And the guy was like, you know nothing about Dragon Ball. And I'm like, let me think, 18 could be Krillin. Tien, Chastu, Yamcha. Oh, what who else is there? She could definitely beat Roshi. She could hold her own against Piccolo. She may be able to beat Gohan, right? She may have been able to beat Gohan and graduation of F. I mean, probably could have, considering he was like weaker than your average Super Saiyan. I mean, you guys just need to understand. For somebody like me, this is frustrating. But Goku wouldn't throw that fight, alright? This is, I'm. I guess I, I don't know when you know when I'm gonna title this video. Honestly, I started talking about the topic of Florida video, and then I got sidetracked. It was originally going to be why Goku wouldn't throw, didn't throw the fight, but I guess I started ranting, so I'll title it like, Dragon Ball Community Rant Video. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. I'll probably have another video up today. I want my only Dragon Ball video this week to be a rant. So, yeah.